Thanks for subscribing to Unusual Facts. Now, we've got a little something here for you. This may help your relationship out. We've got 13 secrets to have a great relationship. Now, I'm not a relationship expert. In fact, I may not be an expert of anything, but I like to make observations. I like to speculate on things, and I think I could help you out with some basic tips, tricks, and positive vibes for when it comes to dealing with your partner, your life partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, whoever it is you plan on spending the majority of your time with and working on goals with and um, sharing a bathroom with. <laughs> so we've got some of the secrets that you can interpret on your own and decide for yourself whether they mean anything to you, if they would benefit your life in any way, shape, or form. And if you give them a try, we want to hear from you. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. Share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up if you find anything useful here. And be sure you watch all the way to the end so you get every last bit of information and useful tip that we can come up with. Thanks for watching this video filled with unusual facts. Now, you may think that knowing everything is going to benefit you in some way, but it might actually make you look a little bit insecure. And it may actually make someone else feel a little bit too parented rather than in a relationship. So try not to control your partner. Try not to demand to know everything. Leave a little room for play. When I say play, I don't mean like that kind of play. I just mean let there be a little bit of breathing room so that somebody doesn't have to account for every single minute of their day. Here's another secret. You should really be able to be yourself be your individual self and be able to show it. You should not be afraid to be yourself. Whoever you are with should be accepting of who you really are. So if you start to show them who you really are and they start to get wigged out, it's time to let them go. I learned that early on in a relationship or two and I was like, see ya. If you're not cool with this, all of this, you're not gonna last. <laughs> We're not gonna have a good time together. So. Just keep that in mind. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Show your individuality. Let your freak flag fly, as they say. <laughs> okay, but maybe not in public. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, not in public. <laughs> Are you developing yourself? Are you spending time on yourself? Are you learning still? Are you growing? Are you evolving? Or are you just kind of like, sitting around, hanging on social media, like letting things happen without really putting any effort in. You really need to be developing yourself as a person. It's what makes you interesting. It's what keeps someone interested. You don't have to have everything in common, just enough that you can spend some time together and then develop some of yourself as well so that you have things you can do without your partner. Now, you don't have to be super duper interesting, but be working on something, be developing some skills in something, whether it is something as basic as cooking, that could be very interesting to a girl like me, or maybe it's a sport, or maybe it's some kind of recreational hobby like hunting or fishing. Maybe it's collecting something. If you don't trust your partner and you get irritated with them because you don't feel like they're being completely upfront with you about where they might be or how they handle certain situations like spending money. You're gonna just be so stressed out. How could you even enjoy that relationship? So just try to feel calm. Just try to think twice before you speak. I mean, that is age old advice. It's not coming new from me. All right, next tip is if you don't share the most intimate things, you're just not gonna have that closeness that you're probably hoping for. You have to share some secrets and you shouldn't keep any secrets to yourself, really. I think the best relationships I've had personally, I'm just speaking from my own personal experience, the best relationships have always been very truthful ones. All right, here's another tip for you. 
If you have to teach your partner how to live, maybe they just weren't meant for you, <laughs> right? You probably shouldn't have to do that. You probably shouldn't force any of that on them either because they're not going to be happy and you won't be happy either. You should respect your partner. Really get to know them before you get too involved, if you know what I mean. And then you'll know for sure that you're a good match together and you won't have to be forcing them into situations that they're uncomfortable or begging them to participate in something that you like to do. Just really give yourself a chance to get to know your potential partner before you really become committed. If you give a gift, you just should not expect something in return. You give gifts because you're happy to give. And if you happen to receive something, oh, that's nice too. But definitely give out of the gift of giving from your heart. Let us know if you've ever come across this situation before and what it did for your relationship. Do you get what you want through argument? Or do you meet your partner halfway? I'm thinking that if you had to argue your point, you were probably bashing your head against a cement wall and it didn't feel so good. And then you were frustrated and exhausted and stressed and probably had a headache, <laughs> not just because of the brick wall or the cement wall, whatever you were banging it on, but because it felt way too difficult to get what you wanted. Well, maybe you need to give in a little bit. Maybe you need to meet halfway with your partner. Maybe your partner's the one who really needs to give in and meet halfway with you. But really evaluate the situation because the secret to a great relationship is going to be some of that compromise. You're not going to have one big strong tree and one weak little twiggy like dead tree thing. You're going to have two moderately sized trees that can hold tree limbs together. I'm only recently guilty of this and I'm not proud of it and I cannot believe I fell into the trap. Do you manipulate your partner? <laughs> now listen, I didn't do anything too terrible. I didn't do anything too bad, but I didn't feel good about it because I felt like I was manipulating my boyfriend. And it worked, mostly. <laughs> Try not to manipulate your partner. You do not need to bribe them. You do not need to say things in some certain way, although, I don't know. There might be ways to say things to get what you want. Oy, this sounds bad coming from me. Here's the real deal. You should probably do more expressing of your feelings. We all know men love to hear about our feelings. <laughs> Girls, if you have any tips on how you can actually manage to accomplish this, to have a great relationship without manipulating, please let us know in the comments below. Now here's another situation that's come up in just about every relationship on planet Earth. You may have the tendency to want to criticize your partner's interests or hobbies, but don't do it. Respect their hobbies. First of all, it may be the only time you get to have on your own, by yourself. Let them go play Dungeons and Dragons. Let them go play video games. Let them go trade baseball cards or drink beer at the bar with their buddies because it might be the only time you get to have by yourself to like do dishes uninterrupted or get your laundry washed, dried and put away or paint your nails or curl your hair or put on a full face of makeup and a cute outfit that doesn't stink. Let them have their hobbies, encourage them to take some time for themselves because seriously, you will appreciate the time that you get because of it as well. Now, on top of that, it's just good for personal development, for freedom and relaxation and stress relief for everybody to have their own interests that they can pursue with or without their partner. If it's something that you are genuinely interested in and you wanna give it a try too, let your partner know. Hopefully he or she will let you become a part of it because it could be something that you really enjoy together. But let's just remember not to criticize our partner's hobbies and interests too much. Thanks for watching this video filled with unusual facts. I really hope that you find some of these stories and um, tips and tricks 
useful, relatable, something that you could apply to your own life. And if you have any additional information, tips, suggestions that you want to send to us, we would be so happy to see them in the comments below. And our other viewers would be really happy to see some of your tips and tricks in the comments below as well. Make sure you share this video with your friends, your family, your partner, because oh, they might benefit from it the most. And subscribe so you never miss another unusual fact.